Hey guys, this is Daniel. I was just watching Sloppy Mechanic's video where he's going to put flex fuel on his P01411 ECU. And I saw a bunch of you guys were interested in how to do this. And I've actually done this on my own truck. And I was going to show you guys how to do it. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the HP Tuners website and you're going to want to go to the tune repository and you're going to want to search up a 2002 Chevrolet Tahoe go ahead and search for that tune and you're going to want to go down to this one right down here it says 2002 Chevrolet Tahoe 2002 5.3 flex fuel Tahoe stock tune and it'll tell you that this is a stock tune you're going to want to go ahead and download this file. Okay, so after you have that downloaded, you're going to want to open up your VCM editor um, for the HP tuners, and you're going to want to open that tune file. Uh, once you open the tune file, it's most likely going to ask you to license this file. Um, unfortunately, you will have to license this file as well as the tune file that is already on your vehicle. Um, the first thing you're going to want to go do is go into OS and select the two bar speed density tune if you are going to be using a turbo or a supercharger. Um, once you click on that, uh, you just follow these steps. Um, and the way you do that is <coughs> you just save this as, we'll save it as uh, two bar. And then once that's saved, you're going to want to close the file and then open the file again. That way it reloads the file into HP Tuners and it knows it's a two-bar tune now. Uh, after this, you're going to want to go into um, the compare file and you're going to want to open up uh, your previous uh, tune file because most likely this file is not going to be what you want to run your engine with. Um, so I'll go ahead and navigate to an old tune of my truck before I did any of this. Go down a little bit more. Go back all the way to 2015. Okay, so once this opens up, you're going to want to come up here and click this button that says Show Differences. Once you do this, um, you're going to want to go into all of your tables and type in zero. This will zero out the difference between the compare file and this tune file. That way they'll be exactly the same. Uh, once you do, you, there's going to be a few um, tables such as the primary VE table if you're comparing to a non two bar tune that are just going to be grayed out and they're going to be just some arbitrary value. Uh, you're definitely going to want to tune this um, probably paste the normal VE up into this portion and then uh, kind of smooth this portion out down here. Um, some of the other things that you're going to want to change uh, is the map sensor. You're going to want to make sure you set that to the parameters for your map sensor. Um, some of the other things that are grayed out are such as the stoic AFR. These are your AFRs for 0 to 100 percent ethanol. Um, after you do that and you get all of your tables set, you're going to want to go ahead and write the vehicle. Instead of writing a calibration, you're going to want to do a write entire. Noticeable, notice that it says brickable right here. This is because you cannot let your vehicle turn off or lose power for any reason during this write cycle or you will brick the ECU. Um, so either make sure you have your fans unplugged, you have a good charge on your battery, um, maybe put a, a charger on the battery just to make sure that it, it does not turn off while you're um, writing this. It usually takes about a minute and a half to two minutes um, so just make sure you have enough time for that. And then you go ahead and click write and that is all you have to do for the tune portion of converting your P01411 to ethanol. So once you have the tune loaded up, uh, you're going to want to wire up your flex fuel sensor. Um, this is going to be the 
This is going to be the blue number 56 pin on your ECM, and you're going to want to wire your um, flex fuel signal sensor to there, and then the other two um, wires on the flex fuel sensor are going to be power and ground, and this is just a normal 12 volt um, power from switch power from the ignition. Yep, so that is all you need to do um, to get flex fuel working on your P01411 ECU. Uh, if you guys have any questions or having trouble, just uh, leave it down in the comments and I'll, um, I will try and help you out. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm about to be posting some more videos um, on my truck, also on a uh, vehicle I've started um, working on now. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.